light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. A request was made on how to use small storage crates from Walmart for storage in a stylish way that can be placed strategically in the home. I had a couple of them, so I had just four and I decided to make a bench, but this was small. So I had to add one other crate that I used for a bathroom in my previous home. So I'm going to be removing the gems around it. Now the mosaic tiles that's on top was really hard to come off, so I'm just going to leave that there. I'll be holding all the crates together with wood glue and screws. If you are new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. For this project, I tried my best to use items that I already have at home. So this is a leftover wood that I had at home that doesn't fit well, but I'm just going to use it and then cover up the parts later. This will be the top of the bench that I'll be attaching to the crates with hinges. Because the screws were long and the board is not as thick, it was showing here, but I'll deal with that later. I cut a leftover wood into the size that I need for these two sides here and attach them to the crates. I flipped this whole thing to the back and covered it up as well. For the screws that's showing that I have here, I'll be cutting off pieces from a foam board and pressing them in to reduce the height of the screws. The next thing I'll do is cover the entire thing with one inch foam. Now remember, I'm using items that I already have at home, so I have a lot of pieces of 1 inch foam, so I just cut them to the size that I'll be needing for the project, and I attach them using the spray adhesive. I cover the front as well as the back. My measurement was off here, so I'm going to add a little piece to cover this part up. Because of the foam I added in the front, I had to add a little bit of wood here in front. And then I put another layer of foam all around to make it two pieces of one inches foam to make it thicker. And this is to give me deep tufts. Because of the extra layer of foam, it got wider, so I'll be adding wood to these two sides. And now to start my tufting, I'm going to be locating the middle and making a mark there. Okay, I guess I was a little bit off there. <laughs> but after that, I started measuring 8 inches apart from each point. I also made points at the bottom, the sides, and at the back. I'm making holes at these points using a pair of scissors.
This is the fabric that I'll be using and it's purple and I had this at home. This is just a yard which I doubt would be enough but I'm trying to use what I have at home. I also have this batting as a leftover and that's what's going to go over the foam. For today's tufting, I'll be using screws and washers. All I'm going to do is put the screw inside the washer. Now the washer prevents the fabric from pulling out whenever you drill it right down to the wood. I'm using my fingers to locate where the holes are before putting the screws. If you don't have a drill gun, you can also use a screwdriver. You can also use a staple gun for tufting like I've done for other tuft videos of mine. But then I decided to just use screws and washers for this project. The next thing I'll do is staple the excess fabric to the wood. I'm done with the top, now I'm going to repeat the same thing for the remaining parts of the bench. I want to cover this part here with contact paper, but because it's not smooth, I will be applying the contact paper to a poster board. I'll cover these parts as well. I will turn it to the back to attach the legs for the bench. I tried so hard to not buy anything for this project, but I just had to get legs from Home Depot and then I spray painted them silver. I'll be using mirror mosaic tiles to cover up the top part of the legs. I did this to all four legs before attaching them. First, I'll be attaching heavy duty top plates to the wood before attaching the legs and I got this from Home Depot as well. You can stop here if you like, but then I picked up an old frame that I got from Michael's craft store for another project which I never got to use. I cut the frame into four using a handsaw. I want to decorate this with beads, so I'll be using Mod Podge and putting a very thick layer around each piece that I'll be working with before then attaching the beads. The layer of Mod Podge has to be thick enough where it can hold the beads together when it's dry. I did this for one long piece and for two short pieces. This is one of the short pieces and this is what it looks like when it's dry. And I'll be using mirror mosaic tiles 
to cover up the top part. The short ones will be attached by the sides, while the long one is going to be attached in front. Now I'll be using corner braces to attach this to the front. I didn't like how this was looking, so I cut the outer sides of the shorter ones because this was actually long for the sides anyway and then attached them to the sides. I painted the crates white and then I covered the inside with plastic boards. I didn't really like the way the design looked by the sides of the bench, so I'm probably going to take it off or figure something else to put there. I had so much fun making this project because I was able to use pieces I already had to build a storage bench. Well, except for the legs. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.